this side I'd say that's definite heat damage well today we're back up in the air because of batteries and electrics buried under there much easier if I turn the light on but here we have my two isolation switches and somebody actually pinched the red keys out of them so here's a spare key and if I insert the spare key in there that one still works if I insert it in here nothing happens and I thought well I've mounted these pointing down so I don't think there's much in way of water that's got up into the bottom of them and it shouldn't kind of get that much up from the top so I don't know what's happened but when I bash this one about I get all this crud falling off and as you can see it's kind of a green and copper coloured so that means there's definitely something bad happened up above here There's a terminal which I've just WD-40 in things, but yeah, doesn't seem the best. Anyhow, to buy spare key, I had to buy a spare key switch. So I, I guess this one's going to get fitted where that one is. But at the moment, it's a bit dark, it's a bit cold, so I might have to continue in the morning. Here we are, back out in the daytime, and as we got the top fuse off, I started on the bottom and there was an awful noise of plastic. I guess I'm going to have to be careful with that one. I need to get that one off to isolate these two switches and see what's been going on. I mounted them that way, thinking water would not get up into them, but I think it's got over the top and come down from above and got into them from the back because we have all this green crud. So I'm going to try and get that off without snapping the base and then get these bolts undone and take the bracket off that I mounted that with last year. Well, that didn't go too well. I managed to twist half the fuse off. Oops. Ah, uh, yeah. I think we found the problem. Water's been sitting up on top of here. And, um, well, water and copper contacts. Yeah. Not the best mix in the world, is it? I covered that one with a boot. I bet it's just as bad, though. So... Yeah, I think I need to redesign this. Well, went to undo that one again and it's come straight out of the, the cheap plastic. Uh, yeah, I just no doubt I'll have to make a new end on this one. Well, as we can see, there's nothing left of the, well, the bolt, the contact point, the terminal terminal that's the word on that side and this side has gone just the same so if I try and undo that one as you can see it's all gonna spin um, I'm not sure how this one's gonna go it's covered in this green shite Yeah, I might need two new ones. I only bought the one. There, I've tidied it up a bit, and now you can see that this just doesn't sit tight in that hole anymore. I don't know what's what's going on. Well, I don't think the holes change size. I guess it could expand with you know as these things kind of rust. They do expand, but then how did it shrink again? Yeah, I don't know. And well, as you can see, the 
unprotected part of that that's been just totally eaten away by electrolysis yeah I'm gonna have to do all these ends again and new switches and new mounts and some new kind of keeping them dry well now we have it in bits and the only thing I can think from the way that is there is it's got hot and melted maybe even got hot and started to smoke a bit maybe these things can't do the ampage like they say they can maybe that's why that hole's a bit bigger although I can't see anything in that area that says there's been any heat but this side I'd say that's definite heat damage I would indeed and then it's cracked water's got in destroyed the contact and that I suppose makes it get even hotter if it's a bad contact and so it's destroyed itself now the thing is did this side get hot first and destroy the contact or did water get in that hole and destroy the contact making it get hot <laughs> uh, I said the next one so I have to have a waterproof box well there's his new one and I thought before we'd fit it we'd take a peep inside well there you can see what's inside uh, contact which is on a, a spring road carrier um, a spring to make sure it goes down when you you take your key out and the the actual contact points which are pointy so not much in them I need to keep water out of this one wasn't so happy before with the old one was it so that's what we've got left of the old one the one contact that's melted itself out let's open this one and see what's in here well the contact on one side's not so bad but that one had definitely melted itself out so been getting a very poor connection there when it was pulling heavy current same with the strip seems one side got good connection and well this other side didn't get good connection springs aren't too bad but now this this contacts on each day that's um i don't think that's going to clean up so i drilled the rivets out to open the the second old switch that didn't seem so bad as you can see inside the contacts are in quite good condition uh, there's not much wear on those at all bit of dirt on that one that's about it but the nuts have failed because they're very skinny and I don't know what they're made of I don't think that's genuine copper even though it's gone green it's not kind of gone green as you'd expect so and copper normally don't break as easy as what these are also the threads are a stupid thread size and um, I've got no nuts to fit them so I might have to undo the bottom nut and put the terminal up against the plastic which well not ideal but it'll work well there's the replacement for the rivets pound chop nuts and bolts well there's a bit of an issue in that the nuts are so small they might go down the hole and the other issue I've got is that my washers are so big they won't go down near the hole well I do have a grinder and a pair of mole grips so I think we've fixed that idea so there we are back together I'm gonna fill this hole 
so water don't get in that one and kill it and then we'll never give it a spray over with some um, black spray on stone guard that should waterproof everything all wired back up I'm gonna put some glue in this hole Ta -da. and um, then give it a coat of paint keep the water off those terminals well I had an eBay delivery earlier and with it comes some of this foam style packaging not very tough but it's splash proof and drip proof and waterproof so I'm going to make a cover for the back of this out of that just by kind of cutting it and putting it over that way and that will stop anything dripping down on top of it and corroding all the contacts up again as well as the paint so you know one and two might win this time I think that's a good enough coat of stone guard I think there's a good chance that should keep it from you know getting too wet it's a good thick daubing over I think we should be safe this time right there we are it's got its nice new anorak on well there we are all bolted back underneath took more time than I thought it would but it's on that's the main thing focus camera for fuck's sake it's not so hard a job there we are in the end it's in and no I don't know why it keeps going out of focus but <sighs> tea time